first of all, you're doing the right thing by tuning into Dyke Vice. It's a very Jewish show, much to Gethard's chagrin. Um, we have capped now the quota on Jewish content for his uh, Planet Scum Live. Call me and so and, and show me your 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 credit card statement. We'll find many problems in there. I bet some of you are overspending, spending what you shouldn't have, taking out credit. Capitalism is out to get you. It's not on your side. Gethard's, yes, he's one capitalism muzzle tough. Watch Dyke Vice every week. He should not be texting you during Dyke Vice. That's homophobic. Is that, okay, dicks me down. Is that strapping on? Is that with a with a physical dick? What, what, what is sticking? Can you explain to the viewers this term? Because it's a <laughs> like I might really relate to it. And I might steal it from you. Yeah, because I feel like I'm doing a lot of dicking down. Hell yeah. Is what I'm doing. So we're all in the same boat. It's a lot of fun. First of all, I happen to have a very long tongue. I don't want to brag. Can I show you? Of course. Who wants to see my tongue? Here, go ahead. Okay. How do I go here? Oh. Is that something? Anyway, not what you yeah. need. It's not what you need. It's how you use whatever equipment is there, okay? Remember, anybody can call in. Uh, however you identify, men can call in. I'm not happy about it, but I'll help. It's a dyke giving advice. It doesn't get better. Thank you for joining us. Follow me on all the social. Think about your dentist questions. I just want people to know there were screenshot sounds earlier. Those were not coming from me. Those were coming on group two's end. I don't know what group two was screenshotting during that call, but just wanted to make people aware. Can I confess something? What? Robbie. She <laughs> <laughs> was me. She was me. I wanted to get the McGill diploma in for my therapist next week. Robbie, <laughs> people were accusing me. Right. <laughs> Just take. If I blame you for the screenshots, then the screenshots are your fault. I don't need this. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, we have. I, we have I, don't, have I don't even know how to turn off the sound of this. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not qualified to give advice. Well, excuse me, but that's a McGill degree. I am more relaxed in my demeanor this week. Now that's partly due to the general mood and partly due to the fact that I have incorporated tea into my daily routine now. I will say I have a huge tea. I do not have one of these little teacups. That I don't trust. That's not enough caffeine for the tea. So that's it. So I'm doing the tea. As you can see, I'm a lot more relaxed. Okay, you can take the housekeeping off. He's keeping and I'm making good points and it's like it's not related to housekeeping. Never mind. Put housekeeping back, Bryson. I'm sorry. That was my bad. See, I'm a, I'm maturing. Bryson, do we have callers on the line? We have callers. We have callers. And don't think that I didn't track that you kind of complimented me earlier. He's fishing at a time like this. I don't like that man, Bryson! <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hasidic light. It might be perfect for me. The Tilia like as well. You know, this is very big dyke vibes for me. This is a dyke vice hat. I have one of these hats like in my closet. Bryson, nobody wants you in the Tilly hat. <laughs> I love this. This is it, Bryson. That is what I need. That's my hat. Bryson, bring back up the boots. People have a lot to say about the boots. This week's special once in a lifetime opportunity for you men to call in. Okay, so even when you, when you're complaining about the size of your penises and this and that, it's so lame, it's so old. I have no penis and I fuck like hell. Get over it. Let's bring our first guest, co-host of Dick Vice, Patrick Kotner, newest member. Okay, so I know my time. Robert, you froze, I think. Am I, am I live? Do I run the show now? Bryson, bring on a call. What's happening? Where's Patrick? I'm right Did here, Patrick Robbie. have to go? He had to go. Robbie, I'm right here. Am I frozen or Patrick frozen? I'm taking a Robbie, video. I am not frozen. You guys see that? Robbie, I'm right here. Okay, I okay. promise there you I was go. not frozen. Robbie, I promise you I will not look like the crazy one. Do you hear the people sing? Singing the songs of angry men. Guys, Bryson is single and has like a job. Maybe we'll do Bryce Vice. Yeah. You know, we could pull you together such that by the end of the hour, I wouldn't be surprised if you walk 
if you walk out coupled up, we will talk about it in tech. I know you're going to you're going to have your panties in a bunch about this. But I think <laughs> rice, rice, it's an emergency because it's also an investment into the show. A better rice and, is a better dye ice. That's how I feel. I'm probably never going to have kids. It's not something I want to do, especially in this world. I'm going kids. What for? Maybe I'll purchase or adopt whatever it is down the line, you know, but I don't feel like I'm going to be doing that kid thing. I'm not going to be doing anything typical. You, you know this to be true. I'm not saying anything new or controversial. This is the best show on this godforsaken channel, Planet Scum. Live. Are you single? I've been in a relationship the whole time I've known Bryson. You like this person you're in a relationship with? Yeah, he's pretty cool. And the person is not at all threatened by Bryson. Uh... Would you be threatened by Bryson? Exactly. This is the problem. You're supposed to love yourself the most before you can love anybody else. Yet you treat yourself the worst. The truth is you need your own love more so than anybody else's. And when you have your own love, you realize you don't need another person's love and how enjoyable it is to have it. Okay. It's just more, it's more of a joy than it is a need. It's more of a compliment to what you already have. I, I disagree, Chloe. Like, you only took Japanese He needs to get into something very specific. Look at him. Oh my God. The bathroom spot check. Look at this. Are you guys getting this? Are you getting this? Are you guys getting, wait, stay in that bathroom. It was so. They are very comfortable and they're camo. You can't see me walking. Who sees me walking? Who sees me walking? A couple weeks ago, we did Hat Vice as a mini segment, and Annika <laughs> is here to show us her hat. You have the hat. Bryson, oh my God, Annika, we have the hat. Oh my God, Bryson, are you taking a screenshot? You know I get in trouble for taking screenshots <laughs> now. Were you there for that hat? I'm taking one. I'm taking one because the hat is so good. I'm taking another Thank one just you. in case. I don't mean to be as mean as Robbie, but those are bad. Okay. Those are bad. Those are, those glasses are anti-Semitic. They really are. <laughs> they really are. These are glasses on the app holding on for dear life. They're oh, they're going crooked, too. Crazy. No, okay, oh no. This is good. Ah, these are the <laughs> glasses. These are flames. You guys got me Guy Fieri glasses. <laughs> After all of that, you tricked me. They're horrendous. What do you want me to well, say? I'm glad you I did that. Spell it out. <laughs> they make me gay all over again. You want me to spell it out? <laughs> this kind of fucked up thing happened last night. I actually, I called in during Planet Scum Live. And when I called in, he literally hung up on me because I sounded too excited. This is what he does, Royal House. We can laugh without hanging up on our collars. If we want to laugh, <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing in for three seconds. Like right now, I'm going to look for one. Bryson? Bryson? Yes? G show yourself. Oh. Hilarious. Thrill House, thank you for calling. I'm so sorry. We both face these discriminatory hate crimes, it seems. I've got some video calls for you. Um, let me just... 12 months. Robbie! This? <laughs> this feels like the it's worst... Twilight version of a bukkake toy scene that I have to be the victim of. It makes me sick. Robbie, ask Annika why she called. Yeah, I am asking, Jar. Annika, why are, why'd you call? I don't follow Planet Scum during the week because I have a girl to fuck and all kinds of better things to do. Okay, without Dyke Vice, there's no Planet Scum. You guys will all be sitting there doing your own thing with your little baby Yoda dick in your hands, okay? Like, I give a shit. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Three, two. I had to burp. Do it again. All right, maybe it will help me if I, like, pretend I'm talking on a phone. It might help me. Okay, go ahead. Hi. Okay, I want to start again. Please leave me a message and I will return it. I'm doing it again. Hi, it's Robbie Hoffman. I might not sound so nice, but I actually happen to be very nice. If you're calling, it's because you're wanting to leave me a voice message. I will return it as soon as I can with the greatest response the world has ever known. Leave a message after the beep. Okay, the only advice I have, if you're traveling, hotels serve breakfast usually until 10 a.m. And you can park in a parking lot even if you did not get the hotel and just walk in with confidence. Just go fix you a plate of food, sit down and eat it. 
and then just walk out and continue on your travels. Oh my God, was that amazing advice to end the show on? You don't think I'm going to walk in with this McGill sweatshirt? This is a keepsakes sweepstakes, one hour only. I'm successful in anything I do. I do accounting, success. I do comedy, success. I do talk show hosting, success. Need I say more? I want to be involved. I don't want to be Ellen. I want to be involved. Robbie, this has been chaos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Melina. Without further ado, welcome to Sarah Vice. <laughs> and you, who do you date? Guys, girls, what? Guys, guys. Yeah, I figured. Okay, <laughs> there's straight people that exist in the past, and they're great. They're wonderful people. Watching Robbie use words to wrap Sarah in a hug. <laughs> so that's what I was doing. Big. <laughs> I was working on a van. Who wants to see my van project? Look at this. We'll do van vice pricing. Can you keep track of some of these episodes? We're doing van vice. We're doing pop vice. I negotiated a thousand dollars for rent, just like you told me to uh, for the entire year. I am changing you guys. Everybody says our generation is soft. Okay, no, we're hardworking and we're we're ready to make it happen. Goddamn Emily Pineapple, our resident landlord, who I think Bryson, if we can mention, we might want to do an episode with landlords. It's my party and I'll yell if I want to. Happy birthday, dear Robbie. Happy birthday. So I found a dog. His name is Paul Newman. And I put in an application uh, to adopt him. I haven't heard back yet, but I, but I did it. <laughs> we need a picture of this dog. Let's see him. Oh my God. Are you serious? He's oh my like God. directly into my soul. Okay, Natalie, they're yelling for you. I got the earrings because last night a man told me I, he couldn't date me because I was too crass and I'm um, not Jewish enough for him. She's the Jewishest person I know. Oh, I wasn't feminine enough for him. She's the most feminine person I ever met in the world. Can you believe this? I have beautiful friends. So sue me. People oh. in the chat are losing it over the fact that you're going to be on Martin's show. Viewer Andrew Tabs, who's in the chat watching you right now, I believe he holds the record for the highest score on Who Wants 269. Andrew Tabs, I'm coming for you, okay? So I was at a bonfire recently, social distance outside, and some 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 people came up to me and said, so, well, who are you to give advice? I said, I'm a person. That's fucking who. Okay, Oprah gave advice for 25 fucking years. Of course, seek medical help. Of course, seek professional help that doesn't discount that people in your very community could be beneficial to you. I am the queer Oprah Winfrey. I am the nice Ellen DeGeneres. I am the one and only Robbie Hoffman. We are competing with the election. We're competing with this debate. What are we debating? I am all the Trump you need. You understand me? This is the new MAGA hat. Listen, with this vulture spread, we better be charging double for these call-ins and people watch it. Have you guys seen this spread they gave me? Who didn't read this? Look at this. Me and Gethard. This is when he was wearing contacts. It was really scary. This is really fear vice. Call me with your fears. So fitting with our spooky theme, one of my greatest fears in life is that I'm being hunted by a serial killer. Serial killer is hunting him, but he, he doesn't know that the person is. So if you don't know, then just die. It doesn't matter. The serial killer just grabs you. You're like, okay, you got me. Like, I didn't know you were coming. You can't be afraid of something you can't control, guys. Like, Robbie, she's, you're such a fucking boss. You know what I mean? This is what I do, Thrill House. Welcome, everyone, to the girliest episode of Dyke Vice yet. We're about to reveal Robbie's professional shellac nails. Boom! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's what? They're so beautiful. Okay? Why in blue? We were all reluctantly Biden, and that's fine. At least with Biden, there's a chance it gets better. Trump sucks now. We know if he continues another four years, it sucks. So Biden's the only chance of maybe it sucks, maybe it doesn't. This election has been like my tits in many ways. How fun is this that I'm on too? Look, I'm on my own show. This is the best thing that I'm on my own show. I've never been on this show. Maybe I have a question. Go back. I can see me on your show. Hi. Hi, I'm and on now your, you can see you show, on your show, on your show, on your show. Oh my God, I'm on your show, on your show, on your show. Oh and my God. My schoolwork. I love being on this show. 
cat. Bless. I'm getting my cat for this call. Hold on. Where are you going? Uh, I just want to mess you to to this. I don't know if she's neutered or spayed. Imagine being so horny, and I know you personally, and I know you've been here. Go to the SPCA because they really know what they're doing, and they'll have better prices, I'm okay. sure, than if you're paying okay. this guy who took an online course at Phoenix U and became a vet. Look at this, guys. Here we are in Dyke Vice. We have a therapist calling me. A lot of her friends are getting Christmas trees and she wants one too because it makes the house smell nice. What do you think? I think you can get a pine thing. I don't want to see a little angel at the top yeah, there. I, I agree. But what about a Magenta Vita? It's a Christmas tree, do your Christmas shit. Don't do Magenta Vita on the fucking tree. Don't you agree? <laughs> Look at the crew. Look at this Christmas cut gift. Look at that couple. Why don't we just take a picture of them and stick it on the side? It looks for him and everybody. Robbie, don't you even try to hide that you weren't taking screenshots just like a couple minutes ago. Go ahead and take a screenshot oh right now. I took a couple of screenshots. Me. Love, finance, fashion, you name it. I'm helping you. You're the advice, Dyke. I'm the support, Dyke. Yeah, we got like a Batman and Robin type thing. Yeah, and they were probably gay, right? Uh, Robin was a trophy twin. Right, and they shared a car. And then when they go, but well, how do you use they, them, right? If somebody is in line in front of you at the 7-Eleven, you go, oh, they were here first, no matter how many people it is. It is okay not to know things. Mm -hmm. If it's coming from, it's all about intent. I'm in a shared house. People are sleeping because they have an early morning shoot. Now I got to be quiet. I don't have an indoor voice. So as a guy... He is 31 years old. But How big? Tell me what's uh, up. But he, what he's, what he's like. Okay, he yeah. is very, very attractive. I made a he joke. Near Part of my own healing from this is learning to be just a more loving person, and I love everyone. Why don't you turn that frown upside down? Micro penis? Sad? Big clit energy? Happy again? That's a controversial statement. Can you catch gay? I think you can. I think you can. Okay, thank you. We've debunked it here. <laughs> it actually is contagious, so beware, homophobes. It actually is contagious, and we are out there trying to get you. Help me help you. Help us all. Bryson, please come on camera. Jess, if you can. Forrest, if you can. Gatsby, look at this. Look at Gatsby. Look at this. Should I get my cat for a second? We'll take a call. Yeah, absolutely. Jesse. Joe. She's a dilute calico. This is a hot show. The this is a hot line. show. The cues are packed. We're changing the name and we're taking over daytime. Do I need to get my daytime Emmy? I've actually worked for eight years in the naming field. I I'm a professional namer. But literally the first name I was going to say was, it's not nothing. <laughs> A couple of times on your show, you have just looked at the camera and you've said, guys, can we be kinder? And imagine we replace the Ellen show with Can It Be Kinder? And I'm the voice of Could We Be Kinder? Yes, this is what kind sounds like.